Welcome to Fun A, Fun and Learning with Adam. We are now at lesson 4 of our intro to algebra series. Today, we'll enjoy learning multiplication on signed numbers. Multiplication on signed numbers. In basic math, we learned that multiplication is just repeated addition. Lessons 1 and 2 videos of this intro to algebra series covered addition on signed numbers. If you need to go through it some more, you can always play those videos again anytime to review those lessons. For now, let's go ahead with our multiplication topic. Before diving into multiplying signed numbers, let us first review the multiplication symbols, for those who might have missed this lesson at school, for some reason. Let's look at this table. Times is the first symbol for multiplication that we learned in our early math. A dot in between numbers is also a symbol used in multiplication. Parentheses are also used to indicate the multiplication operation. And, there can also be no symbol. When two or more variables are written next to each other, then that indicates multiplication. This use of no symbol, however, is not applicable when writing down multiplication of just numbers. For the examples given on the table, 2 times 3 equals 6. We cannot simply write it down without any symbol in between 2 and 3, Otherwise, it is confusing. Use of symbol is necessary for cases like this. Now, why the many symbols? Well, in algebra and other more advanced math, we are using variables to hold numeric values. One of the mostly used variables is x. So, most will get confused whether the expression has the time symbol or a variable x. Won't you get confused? Now let's get to it. Multiplication on signed numbers. When multiplying two signed numbers, let's remember the following rules to get the right sign for the answer, or what we call the product. Product is what we call the answer to multiplication. First case, a positive number, multiplied by another positive number, gives a positive product or answer. Next case, a positive number, multiplied by a negative number, results to a negative product. Third case, a negative number, multiplied by a positive number, also gives us a negative product. And, lastly, a negative number, multiplied by another negative number, results to a positive answer. Oh? Yes, two negative numbers give a positive answer, and we shall show how in a little bit, using examples. For now, let's summarize these rules first. Looking at the rules, we can simply say that multiplying two numbers with like signs gives us a positive product. While multiplying two numbers with unlike or different signs, gives us a negative product. I hope that is clear and you don't forget. Again, like signs, positive product. Unlike signs, negative product. I think, that calls for a short break, don't you think? Yeah! Now, let's have some practice applying each rule using examples, with some explanation on possible case scenario application. Let's start with multiplying numbers with like signs. There are two cases, positive times positive, and, negative times negative. Both give a positive product. Let's use a case example for each. Multiplying two positive numbers. As a sample case scenario, let's say, my sister earns $50 for every big lawn she mows. If she mowed three big lawns today, how much did she earn? For this example, we are given $10 for every lawn and there are three lawns. We simply multiply 10 by 3. 10 times 3 equals 30. My sister now has $30 total earnings. How about multiplying two negative numbers? Based on the rules, two negative numbers also give a positive product. In application, let's say I have been spending $15 each day for lunch and today I have no more money left, meaning I have $0 now, how much money did I have 3 days ago? Note that aside from money, time may also be expressed as negative or positive. For example, if we say this hour now is time 0, an hour ago is negative 1 while 5 hours from now is positive 5. Or, if today is 0, yesterday is negative 1 and 2 days from now is positive 2, and so on. So going back to our sample case, 3 days ago is negative 3. What I spend for lunch for each day is negative $15. The question was how much money did I have 3 days ago? 
Expressing it, we say negative 3 times negative 15, is equal to 45. This means that on day negative 3, I had $45. Both examples used where we multiplied like signs give positive products. So, what cases then do we multiply positive and negative numbers? Let's go through it. For instance, if I borrowed $5 from each of my 10 friends, that means I have minus $50. How? Owing $5 means I have negative $5. And since I borrowed $5 from each of my 10 friends, expressing that, is negative 5 times 10. Which is, equal to negative 50. You now know, that debt, is expressed as a negative value. Remembering the rules is key. Alike signs, positive product. Unlike signs, negative product. But wait, how about if we are to multiply more than two numbers? Well, you simply multiply two numbers at a time. Apply the multiplication rules, and of course the order of operation if the expression or problem calls for it, until you finish multiplying all the given numbers. That's it for now, we hope you learned something from today's lesson. Next time, we'll do division.